Good evening all. <clears throat> Am I audible to all of you? Please mention whether the audio video is clear. Welcome all. Yes, audio video clear. So, welcome all. So, welcome all of you to this uh, lecture on logical reasoning chapters itself. Yesterday also we discussed uh, logical reasoning different chapters. As I told earlier, we are trying to cover all the topics in a little quick fashion. So, that is why today we are taking two topics, uh, coding, decoding and blood relations. Uh, for gate exam, coding, decoding, they have asked questions. Uh, relatively, we can say 0 to 1 question you can expect. Uh, that sometimes they ask, sometimes they don't ask. Blood relation, the number of questions asked till now was only in four question paper. The last 12, 12 years question paper, if you analyze, only in the la four times they have asked. So, I will show you that four questions so that you get an idea how blood relation questions are asked. But coding decoding is little more important. So, coding decoding is what we are focusing today. Towards the end of the class, we will discuss about blood relation chapter also. And make sure all of your friends are also invited. I think few new students uh, attending live also. Welcome all of you. <clears throat> For the new students, this is the details of this course and the previous lectures in this course you can see uh, in this channel itself or the playlist you can see in the description of this video. Uh, the playlist also is mentioned. Seating arrangement Ashutosh we will discuss tomorrow. Seating arrangement needs some more time. That is why I am trying to take it in a separate lecture. So, now seating arrangement is there. Now, verbal ability, uh, those people who are preparing exam for 5th, 5th February, I want to help you out for verbal ability also. So, at least one or two sessions before your um, 5th February exam um, for verbal ability, I am planning. So, <clears throat> that also I will let you know. Day after tomorrow, maybe we will be able to take a session. Yeah, there are only two days remaining. That is a challenge we are having. Let me see if I can accommodate some more time somehow. Okay. So, anyway, uh, and those people who are preparing for CSA and at exam, my course in Unacademy platform is currently live from today onwards. And Unacademy till today midnight, there is a special offer running using this code. You can be part of the Unacademy Plus platform and access this course and all other courses of mine and all other courses of all the educators by a single subscription of plus. This is for only CSCR net aspirants, I am saying this. Uh, so, let us start the session and any new student who is attending the session, these resources you can use uh, to get regular updates of my free live classes and other resources I update and daily quizzes and other uh, test also is running in these platforms. So, make use of all those um, uh, resources. Yes, Ashitosh, uh, I am planning to cover all those topics before 5th itself. All the major topics we will be covering. <laughs> and my mobile application, uh, Christie's classes, you can search in Play Store and find it and download it and get more resources there. And my daily free classes in Unacademy platform also you can follow. Daily at 11 a.m. classes for CSCR net and gate general aptitude. I am running in the Unacademy free platform. You can search my name after downloading the mobile application and academy. More details are given here. So, these are the books I have written for general aptitude and this is currently the bestseller book for CSAR net party which I have written. And okay, so that's an introduction. So, let's start. So, today we are discussing blood relation and coding decoding both the chapters. So, uh, due to lack of time, I will directly go to questions and discuss more uh, theory with the questions itself. This is one of the simplest chapter in this. Uh, gate syllabus. You can easily get marks from this topic. So, make a try all of you. Gate 2020 problem. Try it and mention the answer in the chat. Thank you. 
some of you already got it wonderful simple question coding decoding in uh, gate they have asked it in different ways but most of the questions are so simple questions <clears throat> okay so explaining if 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are coded as so O, P, Q up to X. Yeah, in coding decoding question, the idea is they will give you a rule that this is how this is coded, then how that is coded. That is the type of question asked. That coding patterns can change. Here the coding pattern is so simple. 0, sorry. Zero is coded as O, one is coded as P. So what you understand, this is zero, this is one, this is two. So by that order in English alphabet, R, S, T are the next three letters. Na? So that will be three, four, five. What you need? 45. So definitely 45. S is for T is five. So definitely 45 will be S, T. That is option B. I don't think anyone have doubt. Yeah, these uh, today's session is will definitely serve of, as a practice session because no much theory to be taught or not anything more I need to explain. Most of the question you will be able to do. But getting familiar with that question will definitely help you in your upcoming exam. Yeah, this is a little more trickier version but still simple. Make a try. Here some numbers are also involved. Make a try. If any of you are having any doubt, those of you are attending live, please mention and those of you are watching recording, you can mention your doubt in the comment section. I will try to reply you as soon as possible. Due to lack of time, I could not interact with all of you and uh, take a feedback about how this course went or how this course is going on. So those of you completed, if you can comment uh, how this course is going, going on for all of you, is it helping you and any suggestions, anything you can mention. As I told, uh, I, I, it occurred and... Um, unexpected break of 10 days due to uh, the health issues I was having, the fever issues I was having. Otherwise, I could have explained little more elaborately all the topics. My plan was to take almost 30 sessions and elaborately complete uh, all the topics. But still, in the short time, we could cover all the major topics and the upcoming days also we will continue. So, your feedbacks are welcome uh, about the course so that that can be implemented in the upcoming classes. Okay, so this question, many of you got it right. Most of you got it right, I guess. P is equal to 3, R is equal to 27, T is equal to 243. So here you should understand 327, 243. That is powers of 3, now. So how that is connected? P is 3, that is 3 raised to 1. Q, we don't know what it is. After P, Q is the letter, now. Then P, Q, R, R is given 27. 27 is what? 3 raised to 3, 3 cube. S is not given, but S is asked. So, T is given 243. Now, 243, what power of 3 it is? 3 into 3, 9 into 3, 27 into 3, 81 into 3, 243. That is 3 raised to 5 or 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. So, you can see the pattern. The English alphabetical order is this P, Q, R, S, T. 
So 3 raised to 1, 3 raised to 3, 3 raised to 5 means the missing will be 3 raised to 2 and 3 raised to 4 for sure. No? 3 raised to 2 is 9 and 3 raised to 4 is 81. And that is what you need to get the final answer. 9 and 81 because Q plus S is what you need. 9 plus 81, 90 is the correct answer. Is this clear to all of you? Very simple, no? Thank you, Sandhya. Thank you, Richa. Thank you, Kunj. Thank you, Pratisha. Thank you all of you for the feedback. And any suggestions are welcome or any time, even in the comment section also, you can suggest. Yeah, definitely in the upcoming months, I will give you a little more elaborate version of this course through this channel. A free course, we will plan one more version of it for the next gate exam. So any of your friends preparing for 2023 gate exam, we will have a more elaborate, not like a crash course kind of. We will go for an elaborate course itself in the upcoming months. Maybe after 2-3 months, we will start that. Okay. So, anyway, try the next question. Another 2020 gate problem on coding, decoding. Thank you, Sakshi. Thank you, Amrita. Thank you, Mamta. Thank you, Ashutosh. Yeah, health issues. I think mo most of you people also were facing health issues sometime or the other. Na? I think all over India, majority of the people had fever or some issue in the last one or two months, right? So, yeah, it's a hard time. We have to overcome this. All of us and take care of your health before your gate exam. The upcoming two, three days is very important. Uh, right now, there is no update that exam may be postponed. So, you may have to be ready for the exam. So, take make arrangements for the exam, all of you. Uh, those of you who are preparing for especially this weekend, 5th and 6th, you have only 2-3 days. So, whatever arrangements needed to be take, uh, made for the exam, travel arrangement um, and even precautions that you have to take due to the COVID scenario, everything. And I think there is an update in the website. If any of you are not aware, there is an official update in the website, uh, IIT Kharagpur website. I think it came two, three days before uh, that there is a travel pass or kind of uh, for your travel to be easy. There is a um, there is some uh, notice or some letter that candidates are can download. I think that is for um, uh, the when you travel in anywhere you want to show, you can show that you are writing exam. For that, there is some kind of system that IAT have released. I haven't gone through that notice fully, but that is some kind of uh, travel pass kind of thing. Yeah, go through it. I don't know exactly how it works. Anyway, go through the website and get updated who are preparing for exam. In this weekend, please uh, check out the website of IAT Kharagpur and other official website that you need to check out before the exam. Okay. So this question, many of you got it right. <clears throat> PQRS are to be uniquely coded. Yeah, this is kind of a permutation combination problem also. Na? So uniquely coded. Uniquely coded is very important. Repetition is not allowed. Using only alpha and beta. If P is coded as alpha, alpha. P ka code alpha, alpha hai to. Q ka code alpha, beta hai to. With only alpha and beta you need to code means alpha, beta, two objects are there. Two objects can be coded only in two into two, four ways. Two into two, four ways. Fundamental principle of counting say you can find that. So two into two, four ways, which are the other two ways? Alpha, 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 beta done. Then beta, alpha, beta, beta is also pending. That are the only two other unique way you can write it. So definitely R and S will be these two only and the option which is having beta alpha beta beta you need to choose that is only option d and that is saying beta alpha beta beta order so we can assume r is beta alpha s is beta beta yeah actually there is an order 
starting from alpha like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 that is the order binary numbers how you create just like that alpha alpha first finishing alpha in the first position alpha 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 beta beta alpha beta beta in english pqrs is the order now that is why in case what i am saying is in case there is an op option beta 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 alpha you should not choose that beta alpha beta beta is more correct because pqrs is the order so alpha finishing first in the first position then starting beta with alpha like 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 first four binary numbers just like that instead of 0 and 1 it is alpha and beta but here the options are also so simple that we don't have to think about any of these things but if options are hard this is the order they have maintained pqrs order so in uh, alpha two objects are uh, arranged like this so option d is the only possible answer hope all of you understood it then try this question yeah this is a classic coding decoding problem most competitive exam this is a type of question that uh, is asked ssc psc government exams many exams csr net exam this is <coughs> this is a common type asked letter shifting type <coughs> yes sahil tomorrow yeah there is a hearing in supreme court right uh, don't know what will be the result anyway right now uh, think that exam will be asked for the schedule itself if there is any change that time we can make a change of plan yes. thank you so much for the good words Nehal uh, Mamta you can post in the chat I think students who know definitely will respond Mm. actually about vaccination certificate i don't know what is the policy iat have issued if anyone know please help out i think some mamta and sahil have a doubt whether the vaccination certificate is mandatory whether iat have um, issued anything regarding that to be frank due to tight schedule i'm not able to check the regular updates of um, regarding the exam so if anyone know uh, about it please comment whether vaccination certificate is necessary for the uh, for entering the exam hall please mention okay so this question some of you already got the answer if you want time i will give you 30 seconds more complete the question all of you okay so let's see how to do this question very simple question itself but this is as i told this is a common type that is repeated in many competitive exam in gate exam this was asked in two different question papers amcf is written as e q g j let us see how that can be written so a how much how many positions after is e b c d e that is four letter forward m again four letter forward m n o p q sorry five letter forward n o p q sorry i have confused four letter forward itself c d e f g four letter forward itself f e f g h i j four letter forward itself so we understood that the common rule is the given word four letter forward you will get the code same way nkuf also you can check if you want to make a confirmation r o y j n four letter forward will be r k four letter forward u four letter forward f four letter forward check it out n o p q r k l m n o u uh, t uh, u v w x y f E F G H I J. So that is also satisfying. If so, the given word D H L P without a doubt we can say that D H L P can be coded as 
first of all d e f g h so d should be called as h but look at the options h starting answer option only option c is there so you can save 10 20 seconds by stopping it right away because only in one option you can see h as the first letter yeah that are actually what we can say um, things that gate is giving or any competitive uh, exam paper is giving to save more time make use of it to save time if the options multiple option with h in the beginning you have to continue trying but here only one option with h in the beginning so you should stop it right away but anyway let's understand further h e f g h i j k l so it should be l l m n o p and p q r s t so h l p t is the answer but remember it may not be always a common number added it can be plus 4 next letter plus 5 next letter plus 6 next letter plus 7 that all are possible or uh, rearranging letter first letter is shifted to last letter last letter is shifted to first letter anything like that is possible but till now gate haven't tested these kind of questions much in the previous question papers straightforward questions are asked till now from this chapter so try the next question very similar to the previous one 2015 question make a try all of you Very good. Many of you got it right. Wonderful. Simple question. Just like previous question. Here the options are not uh, like first letter itself does not give you the answer. So you have to uh, uh, analyze further. Rod is coded as U R D G. How it is coded? R S T U. Three letter forward. Na? O P Q R. A B C D. D E E E F G. So three letter forward is the idea. So, apply it same for swan also. S, T, U, V. V starting multiple options are there. So, you have to continue trying. W, X, Y, Z. W, X, Y, Z. So, V, Z. V, Z starting still two options are there. A, B, C, D. So, that also is there. N, O, P, Q. So, it should be Q. V, Z, D, Q. That is option B is the correct answer. Is it clear? Yeah, these kinds of questions, one thing you should be careful, one letter if you misunderstood or VZDQ, VZDP, if you have got confused DP and DQ, you will get a wrong answer. So, be careful, that's the only thing that I have to uh, tell you in this chapter. Read the question properly and answer it, there is nothing else in this chapter, so simple a chapter. So. As I told yesterday, if you are lucky, if questions comes from this chapter, you can, uh, it, it is a sure shot, one mark you can get. Yeah, these questions, most of the time are one mark question itself, not two mark question. So, one mark you can easily get. Try this.
Very good. Most of you got it. And as it is same as previous question, I don't think I have to explain more. So I'll just summarize. I one letter forward. M one letter forward. H one letter forward. O one letter forward. So plus one. I one letter forward, D one letter forward, K one letter forward. Too much information given. Uh, stating the obvious only. Because from this itself you understood that one letter forward. The more information are given so that you can, so that um, they are trying to waste your time. So fastly analyze it and uh, conclude that I one letter forward is J, D one letter forward is E, C one letter forward is D. So J E D option B is the correct answer. Super easy, na? So, gate 2019 problem. So, make a try next question. Another type of problem, still simple. Make a try. Okay, Mamta. So many of you got it already. Wonderful. <laughs> so here, yeah, this code, Ejoti code will be helpful. In letter sequence uh, chapter also, we have briefly discussed about Ijoti code. Ijoti code help you to remember the position of letters in English alphabet. 5th letter, 10th letter, 15th letter, 20th letter, 25th letter in English alphabet. To remember the multiples of 5 letters in English alphabet, to remember them. This abbreviation Ijoti you can remember. Ijoti. So, 5th letter, 10th letter, 15th letter, 20th letter, 25th letter. So, what is the good thing about it? For example, if you want to find the number equivalent of U, English alphabet mein U kaun sa position mein hai, find karne ke liye, T20 hai, T20 hai to U will be 21 na, so TU, so that way you can relate, most of you know this I guess, and here actually the EJOT code EJOT itself is mentioned, so that's a good thing, that is an easy thing, so he, E is coded as 10 here, but actually E should be 5 na, so that 5 double is 10 and J is actually 10th letter in English alphabet, 10 double is 20, O is the 15th letter in English alphabet, 15 double is 30, T is the 20th letter in English alphabet, 20 double is 40. So we understood that the coding done is, the corresponding position in English alphabet is doubled, that is how the number you are getting. So, here also we have to do the same. Yeah, either you can um, find the position and double it and add or add it and double. Both does not make any difference. 2 times x plus 2 times y is same as 2 times x plus y. So, that is up to you which way. So, P is, uh, O is the 15th letter if you know. P is the 16th letter, na? E is the fifth letter in English alphabet. Yes, this is the ST it is. T is 20. So, ST. So, you can easily correspond it to 19. And T is the 20th letter. But you need to double this. As I told, either you add it up and double it in one go. Or you double separately, which is a waste of time. So, it is better you add it up and then double it. Because anyway, individually doubling all the four will take more time. So, it is better corresponding position in English alphabet and then double it. So, when you add it up, what you are getting? 20, 25, 
Um, Sixty, right? Sixty, you are getting twenty plus twenty plus twenty. Sixty, you will be getting sixty double. Sixty double is one twenty. So one twenty is the correct answer. Is this clear to all of you? Little bit trickier than previous question, but it is simple only. If you observe carefully, it is simple only. This chapter, this is the maximum difficulty that they have asked till now. That's why I told you this is a chapter that everyone can solve if you get up uh, yeah this is also a little more trickier i agree this also is a standard question good question try it carefully another coding decoding problem where letter is not le coded to letter there is some phrases here try it carefully <laughs> Very good, some of you got it right. Okay, so those of you are confused, don't worry, I will explain. If Ralph Taga means carefree, Ralph Taga means carefree. So Ralph Taga, I will understand it as two different words. Ralph and Taga means carefree. So Ralph plus Taga is equal to care plus free. That is a code given. And O Taga, I can see the common word taga that is why i am splitting the word o taga means careful care plus full and fur taga so fur plus taga is equal to care plus less care less this is what is given in the question then what is the code for after care or oh, sorry yeah what is the code for uh, after care that's the meaning of which of the following could mean after care after care is the word after care is the word after plus care so first with the three given statements what you can conclude care wherever is there in whichever word care is there for the corresponding code common word taga is there so we can assume care is equal to taga but there is a problem care is in the left side but taga is in the right side so there is a swapping also swapping action is also done for the coding yeah what is coding 
yeah practically what is cryptography many of you have heard about right that for example one person want to pass on a message to another person so that anyone else who is seeing the message also does not understand so here for that what they have done is they have changed the position of the word also and there is a code given also so care is taga but swapping the position that is also part of the coding done here so care on the left taga on the right so care on the right means taga should be on the left now are you all understanding that part care right side may have after care means care on the right side so definitely taga should be on the left side all of you are understanding that so the starting of the answer should be taga taga fer ho sakta hai taga zen ho sakta hai option a option a and option d can be readily eliminated did you all understood why option a and d are eliminated because we understood care right side mein hai to taga left side mein hona chahiye if care is on the right side taga should be on the left side so definitely taga something should be the answer either taga fer or taga zen yeah here fortunately or unfortunately options play a big role without options this question is impossible to solve because the data is set such a way that only using options you can conclude this yes and you cannot challenge gate for that that without options you cannot do it because options are given for some questions options are actually part of the question options are actually also clues given to answer here also that is the case here look at this so taga for taga send two options are there we need to eliminate one more option why we need to eliminate one more option because we don't know directly what is the code for after because nowhere it is written what is the code for after so that is a problem but we can clearly say that taga for cannot be the answer why taga for cannot be the answer because we already know the word for fer fer hai to less hai that means fer taga means careless we already know taga corresponds to care so ye fer ka meaning less hona chahiye and the swapping of position also fer left side mein hai to less right side mein hoga that means fer ka meaning less hai so definitely fer taga ka meaning less care hai less care taga means care per means less and their positions are uh, interchanged but the question is not asking the word for less care question is asking the code for after care that is why option b can be eliminated so only remaining option is taga zen and zen is not claimed in any of the given words so definitely taga zen being after care is totally fine that is after corresponds to zen and after in the left, left side so zen in the right side please respond all of you whether this is clear or not again this was one of the question which was uh, at least a bit challenging in this chapter asked in the previous question papers of gate if all of you understood it i will show you one more question and those of you are watching this session try to like this video if you are feeling that this video is useful because that will help this video to reach to more and more people so take an effort to hit the like button Try next question, 2014 gate exam problem. Thank you, Pratisha.
reminding all of you tomorrow 11 am there is a free class uh, in an academy platform where i will be teaching you rapid fire questions practice session it is 20 questions for your preparation of gate exam and for your preparation of net exam common topics uh, in general aptitude for gate and csar we will be discussing 20 questions from that if you want to join in the description of this video you can get the link to access the special class platform or free class platform i am running classes in an academy Okay, so I'll explain. Some of you got it right. Yeah, this also is a good question. K L F uh, K L sorry K C L F T S B K C L F T S B stands for best of luck. How it stands for best of luck? Let us understand first. Best of luck. Look at this. From here you read in reverse order B S T F L T K. Yeah, those people, yeah, most of you are 90s kids, right? So 90s kids know when we had the square P keypad phones, old mobile phones. Um, at that time, even messages also were very costly. At that time, we you we send short messages now. Nowadays, uh, due to this uh, auto correction and all we don't uh, the typo is there that is why we don't use short messages much but then we all used to um, type short messages to reduce the number of letters also and to type faster also that we will skip the vowels for example if i if i have to type uh, good morning g d m r n g you will write right all the vowels are skipped because still we can make out the meaning of it. Same is the idea used here. In short, it is written. Look at this. If you write it in reverse order, first write it in reverse order. B, S, T, F, L, C, B. Now look at this. This is best of luck itself. By skipping the vowels. By skipping the vowels. I will show you. B, E, S, T, O, L, O. Sorry, this is uh, first final letter I wrote wrong. It is K only here. So look at this, best of luck. Are you all understanding this? Less people got this right. That's why I'm explaining this much. Same way you can see here also, good wishes. G-O-O-D, good, W-I-S-H-E-S. Good wishes, written in reverse order and deleting the vowels. Written reverse order by deleting the vowels. So to get the code for ACE the exam, you should delete the vowels and write it in reverse order. Reverse order means M, X, H, T, C. So option B is the correct answer. Is this clear? All of you mention in the chat whether this is clear or not. <laughs> True Ashutosh. So... Option B is the correct answer. Deleting the vowels, reversing the order, that is the idea used. <clears throat> so, these were the questions asked till now from this chapter, coding, decoding, uh, in gate exam, previous year question papers. As I told, uh, this is a chapter that you can get. Sure shot, one mark, if question is coming. Frequency of question, as I told. 50-50% we can say 50% chance is there to get a question, 50% chance is there to not get a question also. But if you are lucky, question can be there in your set and you can get sure shot one mark. So yeah, we are practicing more and more chapter. You are getting more and more confidence that if questions come from those chapters, you get easy marks. 
so let us yeah if you want more practice i will show you some more practice questions little more complicated versions also i will show you these are questions which came in other competitive exam especially these are questions which came in cse or net exam uh, for coding decoding you can uh, yeah this is just same as the question we discussed which was asked in net exam same like the gate exam question we discussed this is another question of same type itself and this is another different kind of coding decoding not coding decoding we have to find a letter out of it another very simple coding decoding question written in reverse order this is another good one this is another good one this is a solution those people who want the solution read this in fashion in this fashion the answer will be option d these are few questions asked in csa and net exam uh, in the previous years from this chapter and this is simple coding decoding idea to find out the numbers and some more practice question from set exams and all for your further practice if you want you can try these questions this is a good question try it i will update these questions or these study materials in the mobile application of mine christie's classes uh, those of you want practice of these questions later you can download okay so let us start the next topic blood relation as i told today we are discussing two topics coding decoding and blood relation blood relation uh, in many competitive exam it is very important but in gate exam the frequency of questions from this chapter is less last 12 year question paper if you analyze four questions only were asked and that four questions i will show you all those four questions were little tricky most of them were two mark questions most of them were two mark question so if you get questions from this chapter you are able to gain two marks if you are able to do that question correctly so let us get practice yeah we will start with this uh, yeah there is no simple question to start with all questions are little bit standard questions only not difficult but standard questions only yeah try this this is comparatively easy try it Okay, some of you got it right, very good.
Okay, so I think all of you are familiar with relationship trees, how to draw relationship trees. If you don't know, I will explain. Relationship tree is a good way to represent blood relation questions to understand the question and you can give some code for male and female. If you want, you can give some code. Yeah, this is a uh, commonly used code. Male denoted by a square, female denoted by a circle. For example, if M has a son, Q means Q is a male person, as Q is the son. So, you can draw a square outside Q. And daughter R means you can draw a circle outside, outside R so that you can uh, identify the gender while you draw the uh, relationship trees. But in some questions that also is not necessary without that itself you get the answer. But anyway, M has a sun Q. So let us draw the picture. M has a sun Q means M is on a higher generation than Q. Na. In the relationship tree, generations in decreasing order of generation we will denote for example your father will be on a higher generation than you upper generation we can say so definitely m above q according to the relationship tree m's gender currently we don't know m has a son q but q's, gen q's gender we know because q is son so definitely q i am not only explaining this question i am explaining how to draw a relationship tree so that any question of blood relation you can do accordingly and a daughter r so m ka daughter ka naam hai r so as r is the daughter definitely you can put a circle square for male and circle for female so, M's children, so these are the children of M. So, Q and R are siblings. Siblings means brother and sister relation. Uh, people are called siblings. He has no other children. The word pronoun, he denote that M is definitely a male person. So, now you know the gender of M. No other children. So, these are the only two children. E is the mother of P. We don't know E and P where they are. So, let us read further and daughter-in-law of m e is the daughter-in-law of m that we will uh, denote e daughter-in-law what is the meaning of daughter-in-law daughter-in-law will be a person's son's wife is the daughter-in-law now if you are daughter-in-law if you imagine yeah just imagine if you have a daughter-in-law means what your son that son's wife is the daughter-in-law. So, definitely question says daughter-in-law of M means M's uh, son's wife. M's son is Q. Q's wife should be E. Because question clearly says M have no other children. So, definitely Q is the only male child. Male child's wife will be daughter-in-law. So, definitely E is female for sure as it is daughter-in-law. So, E and Q are married. E and Q are married to each other. And E is the mother of P. E is the mother of P means P will be in the below generation. E is the mother of P means definitely Q is the father of P. Q is the father of P. Q is the father of P. How is P related to M? P related to M was only asked. So, what is the relation of P with respect to M? Yeah, currently the main problem is we don't know the gender of P. We don't know P is male or female. P can be male also, P can be female also. So, we can only say that P is the grandchild of M. Why grandchild? M ka daughter, sorry, son hai Q. That son's, uh, son's child. Son's child can only be told grandchild. Grandson, granddaughter, we don't know. So, we can say that P is the grandchild of M. Hope this is clear to all of you. Yes, athletic thick beats. I think in life science students already are familiar in your subject also. Uh, the pred pedigree and analysis you do now. So, is this clear to all of you? So, this is how relationship tree you can draw. Some questions are easy where relationship tree if you don't draw also it is fine. Some questions it will be complicated where drawing relationship tree can help you a lot to understand the question better and answer the question faster. So, I will show you one more question, make a try, all of you, just a minute, yeah, try this question itself, try this, gate 2017 problem,
I think uh, it will be better that tomorrow and day after tomorrow we will discuss verbal ability. Hope that is okay for all of you. Because if exam is not postponed, we have only two days remaining for those people who are writing exam on 5th, um, 5th February. So considering that 5th February students request also, many of you were asking that verbal ability also you need to get an idea. So for that purpose, I will give you verbal ability two classes tomorrow and day after tomorrow. After that, uh, for those people who are preparing exam 12th and 13th February, the next week I will continue with the uh, remaining logical reasoning chapters and also few quantitative aptitude chapters we haven't discussed. That also we will discuss. Try it carefully. Yes, Ashutosh, fifth and sixth uh, exam is there. Some people have fifth. Uh, I will be, yeah, one thing is there, those people who have exam on um, 12th and 13th, before your exam, I will be doing some paper analysis of this 5th and 6th February exam, so that you get an exact idea how they have set the question paper for the four time slot. There are four question papers we'll be getting, so we'll be able to discuss all those four question papers. Uh, in the next week, I will arrange some classes for that also. So paper analysis and those people who are preparing or those people who are writing exam on 5th and 6th, if you remember any questions, memory based questions, in case you remember, please telegram me or mail me so that I can discuss those questions in the upcoming days. Okay, Bhavana. So, I will start explaining. Some of you got it. Some of you are confused, I guess. Dif different options also I can see. Which one of the following must necessarily be false is the question. Read the question carefully. Yeah, this is one thing you should be careful in any competitive exam. True and false, don't get confused or don't misread it. Many questions they may ask, which is a false statement? In a hurry or in a panic? Don't miss the word false. That is a common mistake many people make. They learned or they practiced well every chapter and uh, able to do questions well. But due to reading false as true, <coughs> they get two, three questions wrong. Every question paper, one or two questions at least, they may ask instead of true false. Chances are there. So be careful of, of it. Make a note of it that I will not make that mistake. Decide it now itself so that at the time of exam you can remember to cross check it whether the question is asking true or false. So here it is false. So that is why keep that in mind we need to find the necessarily so not by necessarily be false. Necessarily means always false. By any chance it will be false. That's the meaning of necessarily false. Not sometimes false. All cases it should be false. So there are eight people PQRS. W, X, Y, Z, 8 people are there. They are married at most once. At most once means either they are married to a, to a single person or they are not married at all. That means they cannot be married to multiple people. That is what the meaning of Syada se syada ek person se si hi married ho sakta hai. Either married ho sakta hai ya married nahi ho sakta hai. Matlab either bachelor or married. Married means maximum one person only married. Monogamy only. So, PQRS, W, X, Y, Z has been married at most once. X and Y are married and have two children P and Q. So, X and Y are married to each other and have two children P and Q. So, P and Q are the children of X and Y. So, we can write them in the next generation. We don't know the gender of X. We don't know the gender of Y. We don't know the gender of P. We don't know the gender of Q till now. Nothing we know about the gender. Keep it in mind. 
Don't make the mistake. X and Y are married. Don't think that first person will be male, second person is female. Nothing like that. So we don't know the gender of X and Y currently. Z is the grandfather of the daughter S of P. First we will analyze this. Daughter S of P. मतलब P का एक daughter daughter है. Daughter का नाम है S. S is a daughter. So just like previous question I told you, circle for female, square for male. So S is the daughter of P. So P's daughter is S. And Z is the grandfather of the daughter S of P. So S ka grandfather hai uh, Z. Grandfather for S. Z to be the grandfather. Z son will be P or Z son will be P's partner. We don't know currently. Uh, sorry, Z son or daughter. Both are possible. Z son or daughter will be either P or P's partner. That we can say, na? Because Z is the grandfather. For a person, there is two grandfathers possible. Maternal grandfather and paternal grandfather. The problem with English language is there is no separate words for all these relations. In that case, our Indian languages have different words for most of these relations. Dada, Nani, uh, sorry, Dada, Nana, there are different words for grandfather itself. But here in English, there is no separate word. All are, means both are grandfather. To denote mother's side or father's side, they use paternal grandfather for father's father, maternal grandfather for mother's father. Not only grandfather, for uncle also. The, yeah, there are uh, maybe more than 10 varieties of uncle possible in English language. The word uncle denotes many relation. Mother's brother, father's brother, mother's sister's husband, father's sister's husband, father's brother, father's brother. So, there are many relations which is included in the single term uncle. So, that actually makes blood relation problem complicated sometimes. That English language, there is no separate words for all these relations. That is why we get confused. So, that is a one major problem in blood relation chapter. Okay, anyway, here grandfather, you should understand S's father's father can be Z, S's mother's father can also be Z. S's father can be P, S's, fa S's father can be P's partner also. We don't know who is the father, who is the mother. Again, currently we don't know who is the partner of P. So, let us read further. Further, Z and W are married. Z and W are married means W is the, uh, yeah, Z is male person we already know. Z is male person we know. So that we can denote Z is the male person as uh, Z is the grandfather. So W will be the grandmother of S. Grandmother of S. And our parents of R. And our parents of R. Here you should read one thing. Total how many people are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. How many people we have listed already? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there is only one person remaining. Only one person remaining that is R. There is no one else remaining. That is enough to conclude the answer. Why? Z and W are parents of R. Z and W are parents of R means as there are no one else present in this list, P should be married to R because Q is the sibling of P cannot be married. So the only person P can be married is R. Why it is necessary that P is married? Because question says everyone is married at most once and also P's child is S. P's child is S. So for that P should be married to a person and the only person P can be married is R. So that Z's granddaughter or granddaughter is S. S is also satisfied. And P's, um, P's daughter is S is also satisfied at the same time. Because Z Z, is the, Z and W are parents of R and R's partner is P and Z's granddaughter is S. All can be satisfied only if P is married to R. If P and R are not married, Z's granddaughter and P's daughter cannot be the same person. That is the logic. Understanding the point? So, this is the relationship tree we can uh, denote. And now look at the options. Which of the following must be true? Always true. Okay, currently still we don't know the gender of R and P. 
पी बी पी मेल हो सकता है आर बी मेल हो सकता है मतलब पी मेल है तो आर फीमेल होना चाहिए आर मेल है तो पी फीमेल होना चाहिए बट करेंटली वी डोंट नो हु मेल और हु फीमेल ओके विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू दैट यू शुड रीड इवन एक्स एंड वाई का जेंडर भी हमें पता नहीं है एक्स मेल वाई फीमेल इज पॉसिबल एक्स फीमेल वाई मेल इज ऑल्सो पॉसिबल सो एक्स इज द मदर इन लॉ ऑफ आर इज इट ऑलवेज फॉल्स or is it sometimes true if it is sometimes true you can eliminate that option is it always false or not you should understand so x is the mother in law of r x is the mother in law of r mother in law means r's husband's mother or r's uh, wife's mother yes p's parents are x and y so x being mother is totally okay x being father is also okay x being mother is also okay not always false sometimes false sometimes true is this statement why it is why i am saying sometimes it is false because x can be mother in law also x can be father in law also yeah x will be an in law for sure parent in law for sure but father in law or mother in law both are possible but not always false sometimes it is true that is why option a is not the answer necessarily false means always false in in a, all the cases it should be false but all the cases it is not false that's why option a is not the answer p and r are not married to each other no that is not possible whatever universe all the whatever parallel reality is parallel realities you think p and r should be married to each other the reason i have elaborated already if p and r are not married to each other p's child and ss z grandchild cannot be the same person because there is no one else present here total eight people only are there for r parents are z and w is given in the question and ss grandparents are z and w is given in the question ss parent is p is given in the question for these three thing to coincide definitely r and p should be married so r and p not married impossible that means r and p not married always false always false that is why option b is the correct answer always false answer chahiye that is option b did you understand this yeah little tricky i agree but many of you got different options is it clear now i want all of your response in the chat and in the comments whether this is clear yes ashutosh uncle and in common uh, language also we use for um, people we know elderly person also we call uncle and na yeah that is a limitation of the english words we use for blood relations okay i hope all of you understood this other options if you have doubt please ask for example option c p is a son of x and y p is a son of x and y possible p son bhi ho sakta hai daughter bhi ho sakta hai always false nahi hai sometimes true hai sometimes false hai always false chahiye isliye option c galat hai answer nahi hai q cannot be married to r q cannot be married to r is always true because p is already married to r p is already married to r if the question was asking necessarily true option d would have been the answer but necessarily false is asked option d is always true always true that is why option d is not the answer we want always false statement so option b is the correct answer this is a good question ashutosh is it clear option d option d is always true because q cannot be married to r because already p is married to r at most once only a person can be married that's why why p should be married to r i already stated that reason multiple time z and w's grandchild is s p's child is also s z and w's child is also r all these three arguments to make sense definitely r should be partner of p so then try the next question another necessarily false question try it super fast
Due to lack of time, I will start explaining. Because if you want to continue trying, continue. Uh, if you are confident on blood relationship tree, you can definitely do it correctly. M and N had four children PQRS. So M and N are the parents. We don't know the gender of them. So I am not denoting circle or square. PQRS are their children. Only P and R were married. P, R, P is married, R is married. To whom they are married, we don't know. They had children X and Y respect. P and R are siblings. Let me tell you uh, clearly. P and R are children, uh, siblings. P and R were married does not mean they are married to each other. No. They are married to someone else. That's a meaning. Because P and R are siblings or they are the children of M and N. P and R are married and their children, their children name we know. We know the child of, uh, they had children X and Y respectively. That means P ka child is X and uh, R ka child ka naam Y hai. Is this much clear? P's child is X and R's child is Y. I hope that much is clear. Now, If Y is the legitimate child of W, legitimate child means child in a marital relation. Child in a marital, legitimate and illegitimate, I hope all of you know. So, child in a marital relation or legally uh, he is a father, we can say, uh, in a marital relation itself. Y is a legitimate child of W. Y is a legitimate child of W means we already know one parent of Y that is R. We don't know the gender. Yeah, when I circle it, don't think that R is female. So, we already know one parent of W that is R. Another parent of W we got Y. So, definitely as they are legit legitimate child, they should be married to each other. Na? As they are legitimate child, they should be married to each other. Because R, for a person there is two parent, mother and father. Na? Why is one parent is R? Because question says R's child is Y. Why is, sorry, I think I wrote it wrong. W, W, sorry. Why is the child? W is the parent name. W, W and R should be married to each other. Why? Because Y is the legitimate child of W. So W is a parent of Y, R is a parent of Y. For both of it to happen, definitely y, W and R should be married because their legitimate child is Y. So, with respect to this, we need to analyze which of the following is necessarily false or always false. M is the grandmother of Y. M is the grandmother of Y is totally possible now because M and N's, M and N's ch child is R. So, Y's father or mother is R. That mother's mother or father is M. So, M being male or female, we are not sure now, but M can be female also. So, M is grandmother of Y is a possibility, not always true, but is a possibility. Necessarily false means always false. This is not always false. Sometimes it is true for sure. Some, sometimes it is false also, but that does not matter. Always false we need. So, option A cannot be the answer. R is the father of Y. R is the father of Y. We cannot be sure R is the father or R is the mother, but definitely R is either the mother or father. So, father of Y is sometimes true and sometimes only false. We need always false. So, option B is wrong. W is the wife of R. W can be the wife of R. W can be the husband of R also because still we don't know the gender of W and R, but we know that they are married to each other. I already told you the reason. Legitimate child is the reason. W and R are parents of Y also is given in the question. That is why W is the wife of R is a possibility. W is a husband of R is also a possibility. So, it is not always false. So, option C is also not the answer. So, the only remaining option is W is the wife of P. W is already the wife or husband of R. Then how it, how W can be the husband or wife of P? Not possible. Na? So, W is the wife of P. Not possible because already we know W is married to R. So, W cannot be married to P also. So, definitely we can say option D is always false. Always false is what you need. So, option D is the correct answer. Is this clear, all of you? This is the last question asked in uh, blood relation problem. Due to lack of time, I will start explaining. Just read the question super fast, then I will start explaining.
Okay, many of you got previous question right. Wonderful, wonderful. Okay, I'll start explaining. Continue trying if you are confident. P, Q, R, S, T are related and belong to the same family. P is the brother of S. So, as P is the brother of S, we can definitely say that P is a male person. But whether S is male or female, right now we don't know. So, P, brother of S. So, P is the male person. So, I will denote by a square or rectangle. So, and they are in the same generation. Q is the wife of P. Q is the wife of P. So, they are married to each other. Married. So, so we can put a circle because Q is a female person as Q is the wife of P. R and T are the children of the siblings P and S respectively. R and T are the children. So, R is the child of P. Respectively is mentioned. And T is the child of S. We know that also. They are in the below generation which one of the following statements is necessarily false okay necessarily false means always false s is the aunt of r s is the aunt of r possible we don't know currently the gender of s s can be aunt s can be uncle also of r why r's parent or r's father is p that p's sibling is s siblings sorry Father's sibling is either your aunt or your uncle, right? Because your father's sibling can be a male sibling or female sibling. Your father's brother or father's sister's father's father's brother is called uncle, father's sister is called aunt. So S can be if you are R, your uncle can be S, your aunt can also be S. So S is the aunt of R is always true, we cannot say. Sometimes true, sometimes false, but we need always false. So, option A is wrong. S is the aunt of T. No, S is the uh, mother or father of T already. Because S's child is T. It is directly given. Na? So, how S can be the aunt? You will not call your uh, mother aunt, right? <laughs> so, definitely either S is the mother of T or S is the father of T. We don't know the gender still. Whether S is the mother or father. But definitely not aunt not aunt because for s to be the aunt t's father or mother's sister should be s but t's father or mother itself is s that is why this is always false necessarily false so option b is the correct answer if there is any doubt please ask so these are the only four questions asked till now in gate exam for uh, blood relation chapter yeah this is a little tricky chapter, especially in exam hall. Even if these are simple things, if your practice level is not good, it can confuse you. That is where that relationship tree and um, denoting the gender can help you a lot. So, practice a bit more before the exam. That can help. If question comes, frequency or chances are comparatively less, but we can't say. So, if question comes, most of the time it is two mark question. So, two mark you can get if you get this right. That is a good thing. So, uh, if time allows, practice few questions on this. So, all of you understood it. So, I think let us conclude here. It is already almost 7.30. So, tomorrow we will meet again. So, tomorrow and after tomorrow, most probably it will be verbal ability. I will schedule it. Same timing, 6 o'clock itself. So, tomorrow 6 o'clock, tomorrow 11 o'clock in the morning. Two free classes are there. Tomorrow 6 o'clock class will be on verbal ability in this uh, profile. And uh, 11 o'clock we will be discussing the rapid fire questions for gate and CSER practice in the Unacademy special class platform. So... <laughs> yeah.
that is true ashwini that was a good one so anyway let's conclude thank you all of you for attending the session take care all of you and take care of your health all of you and uh, those of you are preparing for exam not only prepare with the questions prepare yourself for going for exam with all the covid protocols being maintained yeah it will be funny i am just imagining like one year later if someone is watching this video um, let's think about an imaginary situation the covid is completely over that time and they will be thinking what precautions they are uh, telling about if covid is completely over okay so anyway we are going through a uh, never gone before era or most of us haven't faced any of uh, these things before we haven't gone for any exam like this before so it is challenging times so everyone is facing the same thing so it don't take it personal and uh, take care of yourself and go for the exam and uh, do well those who are preparing for the 5th february and 6th february exam so tomorrow and day after tomorrow also we will meet before the exam uh, you're welcome, Pratusha. Thank you for the good words. So that's it. Thank you. Take care. Bye.